Good morning, good morning, almost afternoon, to all pro wrestling fans out there of all shapes and sizes from all over the world. Welcome to another pro wrestling talk video brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U to the Tube. I'm your host, Blitzball Champ Jason Ingram. So, the G1 Climax 34 Qualifier Tournament has reached its epic conclusion. We now know who our qualifiers are from the A block and from the B block. Therefore, the main tournament is now set. So I'm going to go over the winners and then I'm going to give just a general preview of the G1 Climax 34 tournament. It's exciting. So before I get started, don't forget when you get a chance, check out the link in the description for Game Beauty. If you want to check out some awesome video game themed makeup and cosmetic products. And if you see something you like and want to make a purchase, don't forget to use that promo code BLITZBALL underscore CHAMP, all in caps, for 10% off of your order. Happy shopping. So, the G1 Climax 34 Qualifier Tournament has concluded. So let's take a look at our winners. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Your A block qualifier is United Empire's own Callum Newman. Your B block qualifier is none other than never open weight six man tag champ. Bolton Oleg. Wow. Wow. Very, very unexpected turn of events. But this will be, both of them, their first G1 Climax. It's amazing. It's really, really amazing. So yeah, Bolton Oleg in the B block, Caleb Newman, and the A block. Callum Newman has been able to defeat Yujiro Takahashi, Kenta, and Yoshihashi to win the A block qualifier. Bolton Oleg was able to defeat Toriano, Hiroshi Tanahashi, and Taichi in the finals to qualify for the B block. I have to say, Huge, huge opportunities for both of these guys. Now, in the back of my mind, I was a little hesitant because I didn't want this to turn out to be something like both of these guys win the qualifiers and then they go on to the G1 Climax actual tournament and they can't win a single match or kind of go the same sort of path that, remember Dragon, Dragon Daya? in the Super Juniors tournament, he didn't finally win a match until his last match of the tournament when he beat Kushida. So I'm just hoping that these two get showcased and at, at least pick up a few wins. Even if it's like three, it would be nice to see them pick up a few wins in this tournament. But we'll see. Big opportunity for both. Once again, congratulations to Callum Newman and Bolton Oleg as they have qualified for the G1 Climax 34 tournament. So now that I got that out of the way, let's once again take a look at the spreadsheet which I just recently created. So now we know every competitor for this tournament. So just to recap, for Block A, we got Shota Umino, Tetsuya Naito, of course Tetsuya Naito who just recently won the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship at Forbidden Door, you got Shingo Takagi, you got Sonata, got Great Okan, got Zack Sabre Jr., you got NJPW Strong Openweight Champion, Gabe Kidd. 
We got Pro Wrestling Noah's Jake Lee. We got Evil. And we have the recently qualified Callum Newman. Pretty strong block. Really strong block. You got some heavy hitters in this block for sure. Callum Newman's going to really have his hands full in this block. I mean, heavy hitters like Zack Sabre Jr., Shingo, Takagi, Shota Umino, Tetsuya Naito. I mean, Jake Lee, Evil, Gabe Kidd. I mean, they're, they're all heavy hitters in this block. So it's going to be really interesting to see how this goes. And, uh, of course, you know, have the, the schedule of the matches all filled in um so the tournament starts on saturday july 20th that'll be the opening day and just to kind of go over some of the a the uh, a block matchups for that day so one of the first ones we're going to have, we're going to have Shota Umino versus Callum Newman. That's going to be a good first test for Callum Newman. It's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough. But, I mean, with the block that he's in, I mean, that's the way it is. Uh, we're also going to get Shingo Takagi versus Tetsuya Naito on opening night. Oh, battle within the LIJ ranks. So that should be really good. Um, we're also going to get uh, Jake Lee's first opponent will be Sonata. Sonata, who's a former IWGP World Heavyweight Champion. Of course, Jake Lee, a former GHC uh, Heavyweight Champion. So that ought to be a great showdown between those two. I'm looking forward to that match. Uh, we got the Great Ocon versus Zack Sabre Jr. on opening night. That should be really good. Uh, we got... Uh, Gabe Kidd, the current NJPW Strong Openweight Champion, taking on Evil on opening night. So, got some good starting matchups for the A Block on opening night of the G1 Climax 34. Um, who... Oh, and remember, uh, it's the top three. The top three for each block that will advance to the playoffs and the first seeds for each block will get automatic buys into the semifinal of the playoffs. So with that being said, looking at the A block, which three do I think will qualify? Looking at this, I think the three that stand out to me the most I think is Shota Umino, Tetsuya Naito, Zack Sabre Jr. And if, and if not Tetsuya Naito, than Shingo Takagi. Yeah. But I think the, the three that I'm choosing, Shota Umino, Tetsuya Naito, and Zack Sabre Jr., I think are the three that I could see qualifying for the playoffs. Now, who wins, who gets the number one seed? That's tough. That's really tough. But, um... But, yeah, I think... Those three, and possibly Shingo Takagi, if, if Tetsuya Naito doesn't make it, I could see making it to the, you know, playoffs. The three out of the A block. Okay, let's go to the B block. All right, B block. <clears throat> so your B block competitors, El Fantasmo. You have Hiroki Goto, 
You have Yoda Suji. You have Yuya Uemura, Heat Storm Yuya Uemura. You have the current NJPW World Television Champion, Jeff Cobb. You have Hanare, the current uh, Never Open Weight Champion. You have David Finley. Of course, I believe he's still the NJPW or, or the IWGP Global Heavyweight Champion. You have Ren Narita. You have DDT and AEW's Konosuke Takeshita. And you have the recently qualified Bolton Oleg, a never open weight six man tag team champion. Okay. This is another pretty solid block. I mean, you got some heavy hitters in here. Um. Hiroki Goto, uh, Yoda Suji, who won this year's uh, New Japan Cup, uh, Jeff Cobb, Hanare has really made a comeback, and Hanare is a champion now, uh, David Finley, champion, uh, Takeshita, I expect Takeshita to really make some noise, but I think you have a very unique block. Compared to the A block, I feel like the A block has like the biggest number of, of heavy hitters, the B block, I think, is the most unique block. I think it's the most unique. Now, let's look at the opening matchups for the B block. Uh, we got El Fantasmo versus Hanare. Ooh, that ought to be a good opening test for, for ELP. Because, like I said, Hanare has really been on a comeback. And, of course, he's a champion now. So, see how that goes. Uh, we have, ooh, I'm really looking forward to this one. Hiroki Goto versus Jeff Cobb. That ought to really be good. I'm looking forward to that one because, you know, I'm a big Hiroki Goto fan. Uh, ooh, Konosuke Takeshita's first G1 Climax match will be against Yota Suji. Oh, that ought to be really good. I don't think they've ever faced each other before. So I'm look I'm actually looking very forward to that matchup. Um we got Yuya Uemura versus David Finley. That should be really good. And uh Ren Narita versus Bolton Oleg. Okay. That that match could go either way to be honest with you. But yeah, you got some interesting opening night matchups in the B block. You know, like I said, Hiroki Goto versus Jeff Cobb, Takeshita versus uh, Yoda Suji, those, those are the two that stand out to me the most for the opening night of the B block. Now, as far as who are the three that I think will qualify to make it to the playoffs... Of course, you know I would really love for one of them to be Hiroki Goto. Uh, you know what? I could actually see Takeshita being one of the three. I don't think Takeshita wins the tournament, but I could see Takeshita being one of the three that makes the playoffs. I do. Uh... See, see, this one's hard to pick. This one's really hard to pick. Perhaps David Finley? Maybe Jeff Co I I don't know. See, B Block is harder to pick as far as who makes it to the playoffs. But I think that's why it makes it so unique. Because I feel like I feel like just about anybody in this block could qualify. You know what I mean? This is the most unique block. So, yeah, it's really tough. But honestly, I think we have a very exciting G1 Climax this year with G1 Climax 34. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually looking really forward to it. I think it should be a great tournament. And like I said, top three from each block will qualify for the playoffs with the number one seeds having buys into the, the semifinals. 
Bulls. And as usual, winner of the tournament will win a trophy and will win the the championship briefcase for the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship that they will have the right to challenge at Wrestle Kingdom 19, January 4th, 2025. And don't forget, that briefcase can be put on the line in a, in a match at any time between you know, the end of the tournament and Wrestle Kingdom. But the holder of the briefcase gets the free title shot at Wrestle Kingdom. So quite a lot to look forward to there. Um, as far as who I think will win the tournament, that's tough. That's really tough. You got a lot of worthy competitors. Of course, we know Tetsuya Naito won the G1 Climax 33 last year. And he, of course, went on to Wrestle Kingdom this year to defeat Sonata to win the championship. So, honestly, I mean, it's really up for grabs. This tournament is really up for grabs. We got a loaded number of competitors for this tournament. So realistically, I'm going to keep an open mind. I think it's going to be a very exciting tournament. And we you may be really, really surprised at who ends up winning. But we shall see. Like I said, the tournament starts July 20th. And then the finals will be on August 18th. So... July 20th through August 18th. So we got got a lot to see. A lot of matches to get through. But anyway, uh, that'll do it for uh, this G1 Climax 34 preview. Uh, don't forget to check out Gang Beauty. And let me know y'all's thoughts. Who do y'all, what do y'all think about the, uh, the winners of the qualifying tournament? A block. Callum Newman, B Block, Bolton Oleg. Um, let me know your overall thoughts on both blocks. Who do you think the top three will advance from each block? And if you want, who is your pick to win the whole tournament? Let me know who your pick is. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell while you're at it. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. For another pro wrestling talk brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U to the Tube, my name is Jason Ingram. Hope everybody has a blessed weekend, and I will see y'all in the next video and or live stream. Take care. Peace.